everyone, it's Mona. I'm back in the craft room and I have another no sew project for you, but this one I'm going to tailor for Mother's Day. If you missed the cupcake pillow I made, you should definitely go check that out. And this time I'm using this cloth, this fabric, and it's a canvas, it's a duck cloth canvas. And I did a little test piece with the hot glue and it seems to stick just fine and this is what we're going to use and you can sew this if you'd rather sew it i'm just not a sewer and i had bought these stencils at hobby lobby this package actually came with both of these birds and i cut my fabric to fit the stencil that i'm using and i also have these letter stencils and i'll be using those as well so the first thing we're going to do is stencil so i have my fabric here and I think I'm going to use this bird. I'm going to kind of center it as best I can and on this particular one you can count dots or you can just eyeball it. And I'm going to be using just this fabric paint in black. I'm going to keep it very simple and I'm going to use some masking tape just to keep it in place. It's pretty frustrating when you're working on a stencil and all of a sudden something shifts. It looks pretty good to me. And this is actually a great project where dads can get involved too to kind of help the kids do their thing for Mother's Day. But it's a very thoughtful gift and easy. Now I have my fabric paint, I have a paper towel, and I have a stencil brush. And you really only need a little bit. And what you want to do is go on the paper towel and remove a bunch of it off of there. You don't want any clumps. Make sure your hands are clean and I'm going to start working on the edge and I'm just going to stipple down and I'm going to do the outline and you pick up more when you need more and you do not want to brush this on because you don't want the paint getting underneath the stencil so if you'll notice I'm going straight down with my brush so the bristles are not getting underneath underneath the stencil at all. I think it's pretty good so now I'm going to kind of do a little reveal and carefully lift it and there it is. So I'll take that off and I will set this aside so it can dry. And There it is. Now on this side I'm going to put mom. So I thought I'd keep it kind of simple and what I'm actually going to start with is I'm going to find my center again and another way to find your center, um, this one, I mean, I happen to be able to count the little polka dots on there, but if you're using a different fabric, you can always fold it and kind of have a little idea of where the middle is. It would be right there. So, knowing that, I'm going to put my O right here. And I'm going to do the very same thing. Now I'm not going to tape it down on here because I'm going to have to do the MOM. So, and this is a pretty, pretty small stencil and I think I can handle it without shifting it. Now I'm going to take it off and I have the O and I need to do the MOM and, or the two M's, but I'm going to wait to do that until this dries because I don't want this to smear. So now I'm coming back and I'm going to do the M on either side. And here's mom. So we're going to set that aside to dry as well. And in the meantime, I'll clean my brush and my tray and wipe my stencils off. Now we're going to create our pillow. And we are going to put these face to face, which is why it's very important that you have let them dry. And now we're going to hot glue them together. And you're going to want to just remember that you want to leave an opening somewhere on the bottom or on an edge so that we can do the pillow stuffing after. And I want that on the bottom. I don't want that on the top. You want to try to be neat about it and you want to do little short lines because you don't want it to cool before you get the fabric down. I'm going to lift it and resume where I left off. Mm -hmm. 
now we're going to let this completely cool before we turn it inside out. The glue has cooled. Now I'm going to find the opening and I'm going to turn this inside out or right side out. And now is a good time to make sure you get your corners out as best you can. Once you get your stuffing in there, that's pretty hard to do. Okay, now I have the fiber fill and the pillow stuffing, and I'm going to stuff the pillow. And the first thing I like to do is to go into the corners to make sure that they actually get enough stuffing in there. Because if you start just stuffing in the middle, um, a, lot of the a lot of times the corners won't get enough and they'll lose their form. All right, once you have it stuffed the way you want it, it's time to close up this edge. And you're gonna want to fold over the edge because you don't want any bare fray edges showing. And you wanna carefully hot glue that together. And now you have your pillow. You got the bird on the one side, mom on the other side, and you can tailor this with any color fabric. You can tailor it with any kind of a stencil. For kids, they can just paint on fabric, let that dry, and then you can create something with that. Um, anything. The possibilities are endless. You could do something fun for maybe like your daughter's room or your son's room with their name on the back. Anything. Let your imagination run wild. Have fun with it. Happy Mother's Day. If you choose to do it for Mother's Day or for anything else, I would love to see it. And happy crafting. Thanks for stopping by.